Hey everybody, this is Mike Lantis with Unique Sequence, broadcasting straight out of Los Angeles. I'm making this video today to showcase some of the improvements and additions that I've made with this Touch OSC template to control Resolume. Uh, as you can see, I've got Resolume up. You can also see uh, my iPad tablet here. Uh, and we'll just dive right in. Uh, media tab. Uh, you know, got all of the layers, um, or sorry, layer, yeah, layers in one column versus two columns. Uh, the buttons are a little bit smaller, but uh, for me and my workflow, this just tend to uh, to work a little bit better. Just how I hold the uh, the iPad and using my thumb to select, you know, whichever layer I want. Um, I did make the uh, clip trigger buttons bigger because I found for me I just was struggling with that. Um, the buttons didn't seem to be big enough and just spending too much time trying to make sure I hit the right button, so uh, the bigger buttons definitely helped me with that. And I uh, got the active layer opacity on the right hand side here. Um, you can black that out or solo it. You can also easily uh, trigger, you know, 100% uh, opacity, 50% opacity. You know, bold it out, solo it. So yeah, that's uh, that's the media tab. Uh, playback tab. Um, not a whole lot of changes here. Uh, I've got uh, I've added a reset play speed button right here in the middle of the dial. This button does the same thing, so it's kind of duplicates. Um, I just didn't go in and delete this other button. Didn't have really anything else to to put there, so I, I just left it as is. Um, here, the main addition here is the clip transport, um, which was added. Before I had the layer transport, now we've got layer transport and clip transport. Um, let's see if we can move stuff around here so we can actually see. And, you know, it's only gonna work with a video. Let me uh, get to a video here. There we go, videos, videos, videos. Come on. Video, there we go. So there is a video here. We'll make that small transport. There we go. So if you look here, going uh, back, that's the back transport forward. And the way that I've got it set up, there's it, once if you hold on to the, the forward button, it's actually going to go back until you let go of it, and then it'll go forward. Same thing with the back. You'll hold the back button, it goes forward until you let go of it, and then it starts to go backwards. Pit, pause, um, it's pausing it, random, random. So I like this. Holding the play button, it goes backwards. Let go of the play button, it goes forwards. Same thing with the back button. Back button, you hold it, it goes forward, you let go, and it selects it and makes it go backwards. So it kind of gives it a cool, uh, you know, scratch, scratchy effect here. You know, going backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Same thing. Forward, backwards, forward, backwards, backwards, forwards. So, uh, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, he, uh, you know, just for a few buttons added onto a page, uh, huge, huge um, difference, at least for me and my workflow on how I do live performances. Um, comp mix. Again, clip transport um, is really the only thing that uh, added here. Pretty much all the tabs will have that except for a few where there just is no room left on that tab to add stuff. Uh, here I've got up to four layers for setting the group. Of course you can do it for all ten, just setting the active layer. Uh, moving the active layer up or down. So let's see if I select nine and I'm going to move that down. Bam! Moves that whole layer down, so you got a little bit more layer management here to get your comp mix mixed the way that you want to. Um, I think those were on the previous template. Um, they may or may not, but they're on this template, so you guys will uh, get it once I release this. Um, comp effects tab. Um, so here, got the clip transport. Uh, added some coloring here with uh, the buttons, top, mid, bottom. Uh, I've added, uh, you can set the clip transition time by second, uh, hitting these buttons here. And these also kind of work as a, a MIDI feedback, so you know where where you're at. You can see those light up as you slowly slide this up and slowly slide it down. Um, you do need to go slow with it. If you try to go quick, it's, it's too, see, it's, there's a delay. It doesn't, 
yeah see it doesn't it has trouble keeping up if you go quick so but if you go the trick if you go slow it it's usually going to be enough for it to pick it up most of the time as you can see there it's kind of but yeah it, it's there um i've also increased the number of um values for these i think initially it was set to zero through 33 um, there's more blend modes than that same thing with the clip transition i think it's up to it's in the 40s i know i've added a couple of custom ones so i think it's set to 49 but uh, yeah so you're going to be able to access all of the modes where before um it wasn't set up that way it just didn't have just had to increase that number in the uh how this these rotaries were configured um i've also added um some buttons here to change the uh, the blend modes. This is going to be uh, mix option one for the active layer. So if I just uh, select layer 10 here, right now you can see that it's set to alpha. If I hit this cube here, it's going to set that to cube. Come on, set it to cube. Ah, okay. So yeah, there we go. So as you can see, why is that doing? Oh, there we go. Yeah. So jitterbug. Yeah. So these are the ones that some of the mix modes that I like are more used frequently. That's why I've added those. Um, same thing on the layer effects uh, and clip effects. Pretty much the same thing. Just clip layer or clip level, layer level, comp level. Um, here we go. Layer scale. This is. You see, this is a shit ton of buttons, a lot of labels, uh, and same thing, you know, same type effect, uh, you know, with the clan, uh, clip transition time. Um, you know, this will act as, uh, you know, some feedback so you know where you are. And if you just tap the buttons there, you'll quickly, you know, you're at six second transition, five second transition, four. And uh, yeah, that's how those, those buttons work. Same thing with the layer scale and clip scale. Um, you know, easily, you know, increase your layer by, you know, make it twice as big. Or, you know what, get it back to 100. Or, you know what, I want 10%. Hit the 10%, 25. Uh, just seemed, you know, I mean, the, the, the slider works good, but it's just, you know, you got the, kind of the, the feedback that kind of lets you know where, how big you are approximately. And, of course, if you don't want to mess with the slider and you just know that it's going to be about 25%, just hit the 25% button and it'll make that layer 25%. Uh, of course, the reset here, you can hit the reset and that will reset it back to 100. And same thing with all these other, the anchor points, the position, the rotations, all of these, you know, the sliders um, and buttons will, you know, inch it uh, along or here with the rotations, I did it by 45 degree increments. Um, and again, got the reset buttons for, for everything. Um, same thing with the, the clip scale. Um, clip effects mix um, only change I really made here was adding the clip transport and parameter again the clip transport and the you know transition time and mix modes and uh, the mix option quick buttons here um, are all the additions so these are the additions that I've made I uh, hope you enjoy them if you have any feedback questions please let me know I'd be more than happy to help you out thanks for watching have a wonderful day. Bye now.